Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be going over the tools that you'll need to paint your room. Today we're gonna to keep this super simple. These are all the basics you're gonna to need to complete your paint project. Let's talk about some of the bigger items first. One of the bigger items that you're gonna need if you don't already own this is going to be a work light. You don't necessarily have to purchase this one. Milwaukee has other ones that are maybe a little less expensive but you're, you're going to want a work light. You need to see what you're doing. You need to be able to see imperfections in your trim, your walls, your ceiling. On my projects, there's always a work light. I will not do my job without my work light on my backside, on my side while I'm mudding. Whatever project I'm doing within the project, the work light has to be with me. Another item that I'm gonna recommend you have, I'm not gonna recommend, I'm gonna tell you you better get it, is gonna be a vacuum. You don't have to necessarily go for this vacuum, they have rigid vacuums, Milwaukee vacuums at Home Depot, very affordable. You have to have a vacuum on site though, because as you sand, as you prep, you're gonna get a lot of dust in your work area and you're gonna want to get rid of that dust before you paint, because if you don't, you can get rough textures and it's just not a professional way to go about your job. And on the final step of cleanup, you have to have a vacuum to make your whole area clean. So let's move on to rollers. You can pick different sizes. You can get these at the paint store at Home Depot. They're convenient to buy. Depending on the project, I might go for a 14 inch roller if I have bigger walls. If I have smaller ones, like just a kitchen or a bathroom, I'll go for a nine. You're gonna wanna get the three quarter inch nap. Three quarter inch nap. Go for microfiber rollers because they're easier to clean in the end and they hold more paint. Make sure you purchase the right roller for the right project, depending if you have a whole house to do, grab a 14 and a nine, or just a kitchen, grab your nine. So, but this is what I'm gonna recommend right here. So continuing to talk about rollers, you're also gonna wanna buy a frame to go with your roller skin. And just make sure you buy the right size skin for the right size frame. So if I have a nine inch skin, buy a nine inch frame. If I have a 14 inch skin, buy a 14 inch frame. You kind of get the idea. I suggest Wooster. Wooster is a great product. My favorite feature is gonna be on the backside. On the backside, you can either screw in or with the Wooster poles, they have a click, a quick release. And this keeps you when you're rolling from your roller kind of shifting side to side. It keeps everything stable. So get the Wooster, that's a great product. And you know, they have it at Home Depot. This whole package here is gonna be at Depot, which for a lot of you, depending on where your paint stores fall and where you go, Depot is gonna obviously be very convenient for you. So just remember that that's where that tool will be. Moving on to brushes, you're gonna to want to make sure that you purchase the right brush. I have many videos on how to cut in. You can dig through our channel and find those. And in all those videos, I recommend the same brush over and over again, Wooster Rat Tail 2 Inch. This is gonna be nice for your wrist fatigue, you're not gonna get too tired on the wrist, especially if you're new to painting. It's gonna hold a lot of paint, great brush. You can find that at Home Depot as well. Moving on to some of the more basic tools that you're gonna need. You're definitely gonna need a painter's pole. Don't neglect this. I've seen a lot of videos where people are just rolling by hand. That might work for a few minutes, but it's gonna get tiring, your shoulders are gonna hurt. This is gonna save your job. It's gonna give you leverage, it's gonna take you high, it's gonna keep you low, wherever you need to go, and it's gonna allow you to have leverage as you roll. So make sure you have a painter's pole. This is super important. Another must have is going to be painter's tape. To the people who have been clicking off my video when I start talking about tape, shame on you, because you need tape to finish your project. Get the 1.5 inch blue tape. Multiple reasons why you need this for painting your trim you know, for covering the floors, whatever you're doing, this is gonna be helpful for you. Next, make sure you have tarps or something similar to cover your floors. This is important. Please don't get paint all over your floor, over your carpet, your hardwood. It's a cheap buy. Home Depot has them for 12 to 15 bucks. Purchase three or four of them and you'll be able to complete your room. Make sure that you have caulk. I don't really care which one you buy. Just make sure you buy a fast dry caulk. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to purchase is a caulk gun. Make sure that you buy the dripless caulk gun. What that means is after I'm done squeezing my trigger, it doesn't continue to come out of the tip. I don't sound right. Buy a caulk gun. Next, filler, Drydex. This is a great product, goes on pink, dries white. Drydex is not sponsoring me. I just think it's a great product, okay? If you have to fill in nail holes in your trim, if you have to patch part of your wall, small areas, and I mean small areas, don't try to fill in a giant hole on your wall with Drydex and say that I told you to do that, because I didn't. 
buy Drydex, good product. It'll help you in just fixing the defects in areas that you're about to paint. Also, make sure that you have a sanding block on hand. This is going to sand the areas that you may have just applied as far as Drydex is concerned. And you can also use this to sand your walls if you're in a pinch and you might not have one of a, a bigger pole sander head, which I'll reference in this video. You can use these sanding blocks to kind of do the Daniel Sun wax on, wax off if you're in a pinch. I would also suggest to you though, to get a pole sander. This is about $30 at Sherwin-Williams. I love these ones because they're smooth against the wall, but what happens is you screw this into your painter's pole and you can go across the whole surface of your wall so that when you're finished and you rub your hand across your nicely painted surface, it's nice and smooth. Instead of, you know, sometimes you can run your hand over a wall and it feels gritty. That's what we're trying to avoid by using the pole sander. So just kind of, it takes you from a good job to a professional job and that's what we want. Make sure you also purchase uh, the pan for your paint. This is called the Big Ben Wooster tray. I love this tray. This is what we purchase. So you can find this at Home Depot as well. So when you're buying your roller setup, you can pretty much find everything on this list and everything you're gonna need at Home Depot. I'm not huge on shopping at Home Depot as far as my painter's tools. I like to get that at my local paint store because that's just what I do. I'll buy my Milwaukee tools from Home Depot, but for convenience sake and for the basics, I would say just plan on getting everything at Home Depot. All this is going to be there to simplify life. That's what we want for you, a simple paint job and a great paint job. I really hope that this video was helpful, especially to the DIYers if you're just doing this on a weekend. If this was helpful, it's helpful to us if you could hit the like button and the subscribe button for future videos. Thanks for watching.